they came out in their thousands, despite rival gatherings held on the same evening by student groups disillusioned with their failure to achieve any progress towards democracy in China. Activists say the annual Tiananmen vigil again shows the strength of Hong Kong as the only city of protest in China. The annual Tiananmen vigil again shows the strength of Hong Kong as the only city of protest in China. There are different ways of campaigning for the same things. It's okay for students to hold other events. As the only city on Chinese soil where the crackdown can be commemorated, activists here want to go further, establishing a permanent museum so future generations can learn about what happened. The current June 4th museum is being threatened with eviction in a legal case its operators believe is politically motivated. The museum serves as the only physical reminder of the crackdown for the whole of China, attracting many mainland visitors who have to hide their identity. I have never seen tragic images like these. To see them firsthand makes my heart sink. The ban on any commemorations in mainland China remains as strong as ever. There, they are, they are trying people for inciting subversion simply for writing essays about the Tiananmen crackdown. So in China, if you try to commemorate it, you'll be censored or you may even face possible jail terms. The organizers of the vigil say it serves as the conscience for a country which seems to suffer official amnesia about one of the most significant events in its recent history. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.